Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. My name is Holly Lim Lovett and I am going to, and I'm from the Duke Public Library. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make a hedgehog out of a book. Um, we did have some kits for anybody who signed up to pick up their kits and they had all of the uh, material available for them. But if you didn't have a kit, this is something you can do at home as well. So to start off with, you're going to need an old book. Now this one has been discarded, so it isn't an older book. We didn't just take it off the shelf, so we can use it for our book art. We're going to make some art with it. So the first thing you're going to do, you want it to be a paperback, not too large. Um, and you can just kind of fold it. You'd want to break the spine a little bit, but you don't want to rip it in half or anything. All right. So with your book, you're going to open it to the first page. And just kind of flatten it out a bit there. This is a great thing to do at home if you're watching TV or you just need something to do, get your mind off things. So the first thing you're going to do is fold it in half, right up to the spine. Okay. Push it down. I'm going to look a little clumsy doing it, but there we go. Make it nice and tight. There you are. So you go over there if you want, press it down. All right. So now you're going to take one of the corners and you're going to fold it into the spine again. Just be careful, it might rip a little. Try not to, but if it does, that's all right. And you're gonna take it right up to the spine there, and, or the center, I should say, I guess. And you're just gonna fold it nice and tight. And you'll do the same with the other side. So you're gonna take the corner, bring it down right to the center, and you're going to nicely fold it. Make it nice and tight there. All right, guess what, guys? You have one made. So then you move on to the next one. Just let that one sit there. Now, in some of the tutorials I saw in doing this, they said you could go up to like 200 pages or so. I chose, in the one I did, I did all of them because I just thought it looked prettier. Depends on how much time you have. Now, as you do this, it's gonna get more and more difficult because the pages are gonna stack up. All I can say is keep going, you can do it. Um, it really does look cute once it's all done. I'm just gonna show you one more here. So again, nice and straight corners. Take your corner, fold it up to the center. Fold it down, nice and tight. The sharper you can do your folding, the better. Okay, nice. And then already you can see the two layering up there nicely. So what's gonna happen, you're gonna do that for the whole book. And it's gonna start going over, 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 and it's gonna be hard, but you can do it. And what you're gonna get eventually is something like this. All right, so this, this is your book. This is your hedgehog. I'm gonna show you this side first. So once you're at here, you'll still have your cover on yours, okay? I already cut mine off, you'll see here. There's the cover. So when you do get to this point, when you have everything folded, you're just gonna imagine this is all folded. What you'll do is take a pen, or even if you just do your scissors, you don't even need a pen. Take your scissors, and you're going to cut your way around the whole thing, all right? So here, I'll just show you one quickly. All right, so you're gonna use your scissors. Cut your way around, get as close as you can. All right, and you can do it closer there. But eventually, he'll be out, he'll be lying down like this, all the way around, and you will have your cover cut so you won't see it anymore. And then he'll look more like this guy here. So you see the cover there? And then you have him here. Then you can decorate your hedgehog. You can use googly eyes or you can use, um, pay, uh, what's it called, cardstock. You can make some pretty flowers for him or her, a bow tie, whatever you would like. 
and then you're gonna have your hedgehog. Thank you guys, and I hope you enjoy having fun with your hedgehogs and books. Bye-bye.